I would say more excitement in the air this morning than any fear or any nervousness. They're just ready to go and ready to get it started. Residents at an assisted living center lining up and ready to get their coronavirus vaccine. Good evening and thanks so much for choosing KLBK News. I'm Terry Furman. Hope is back in residents of long term care facilities as the distribution of vaccines for phase 1A of the coronavirus continues. One assisted living center there in Slayton receiving their vaccines today. KLBK's Alyssa Tejas was there. Now, Alyssa, what were the reactions from residents? Yeah, Terry, the residents I spoke to were just expressing their excitement. They're so ready to get the vaccine. They were also expressing their gratitude, thankful and looking forward to the future as they receive their vaccine. About 50 staff and residents getting their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine today. You going to give it to me? Yes, ma'am. You are. The coronavirus vaccine. You're not going to hurt me, are you? No, nah, I didn't think you would. Arriving at the Library of Legacy's Assisted Living Center. I can't wait. And for many residents, they're ready to roll up their sleeves. People have worked real hard to get us this vaccine. In partnership with the CDC, CVS staff are able to provide on-site vaccination services. And I've been I've been looking forward to it. To residents of long-term care facilities. Well, good gosh, how did we feel it? And their employees. It was great. I don't feel anything different. Including the owner of Library of Legacies, Michelle Craig. CVS made the process very simple and we we're very thankful for them coming out here and giving their time to us. Wrapping up in a little more than an hour. A lot of great feedback from the nursing homes and we're doing a lot of great things out here. Sean Francis, the district leader for CVS from Oklahoma City, says he's been to more than 16 nursing homes. I'm helping out because Oklahoma launched last week. We had tremendous success. So I'm here helping my counterpart. All of the residents received their first dose, apart from one who couldn't. And with not a single case of COVID-19 at the facility, this is their hard work paying off. The vaccine is going to keep these little people from getting it, so we're praying for that. So while they know they're still going to have to take precautions, a little poke in the arm is also providing a dose of hope. That this whole situation is probably not going to end, but that we're going to have some, some better days. Because when it comes to keeping our most vulnerable safe, there is no hesitation here. Were you hesitant at all to get it? Why should I be? CVS will be back to provide the second dose of the vaccine in mid-January. Terry.